Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Wrigley. A race that brings the world of professional cycling to northwest Arkansas is taking a hiatus this year. On Thursday, the race director for the Joe Martin Stage Race in Fayetteville announced they're postponing the race until 2025. They made that decision due to rising costs in producing the event and lack of sponsorship funding. That race has been around for 46 years and brings people from all over the world to the region. Steve Clark, president and CEO of the Fayetteville Chamber of Commerce, says the race is a part of what makes the city distinct. There'll be a number of people who will not see Fayetteville for the first time that would have from all over the world, but particularly all over the U.S. and the North American continent. There'll be a number of people who won't be exposed to cycling and realize that it's a whole lot more than just racing. It's a lifestyle. Race officials in Clark both say they now have 14 months to plan for 2025 and they want to make a bigger and better comeback. Meanwhile, the Benton County Planning Board has approved plans for a glamping resort at Beaver Lake. According to an application to the board, Beaver Lake can now offer 20 glamping tents, 12 covered wagons, a pavilion and a spa. Lawyers for the owners and developers say changes addressing the wastewater concerns have been made after the plans were initially denied in 2022. Lawyers for those concerned say issues like noise, damage to the site, and fire hazards still remain, though. Attorney Robert Rhodes says that lake pollution worries his clients the most. More than one uh, neighbors of this project are concerned that primarily it will be um, detrimental to the lake and the lake water. Uh, we believe that it will pollute the lake water. The Benton County Planning Director says the revised plan will now go to the Benton County Fire Marshal for approval. After that, developers can apply for building permits. Before we get to more of today's headlines, let's get a check of the weather with meteorologist Zach Scott. Zach. Oh, uh, Morgan, looking at that video there, the lake days, they're getting closer, still so far away. The uh, green vegetation there, we're just seeing those trees start to bud a little bit. Still cool, but those lake days looking good in that video. Getting closer, they'll be here before you know it, especially with the way that this year is already flying by. Uh, we've got temperatures today, mid to upper 60s. We're looking at uh, mostly to partly cloudy skies and some scattered showers. Really the best chance, uh, two waves, if you will. Uh, this morning through mid-morning, some spotty showers, some sprinkles, a little bit of a break. And then as we get into the late afternoon, evening hours, the front's going to come in, and that'll give us some more spotty shower chances for northwest Arkansas. Best rain chance is especially in the first half of the day, River Valley, Washita's. Uh, we've got some widespread light to moderate showers kind of working through the area. That'll push out as we go into the afternoon and then late afternoon evening. That front will bring some spotty shower chances out of northwest Arkansas and into the River Valley. So again, highest rain chance overall south of the I-40 corridor for sure. We've got a disturbance. We're on the northern edge of it. It's pulling away from us. So rain this morning will slowly decrease from northwest to southeast. We'll look for a break in the clouds, especially northwest Arkansas may hold a little thicker and tighter in the river valley that cloud cover and then there you go here comes that front bringing those spotty shower chances for your friday evening then we'll be quiet and colder going into saturday morning we'll start out with a few scattered clouds mostly clear skies especially across the river valley 30s and low 40s a little chilly start to the weekend there morgan Thanks, Zach. Well, a decades old cold case is finally being solved. Detectives Lori Howard and Rhonda Wise, they spent decades gathering the evidence in the 1990 murder of Shauna Garber out of McDonald County, Missouri. The cold case received national interest and at a news conference on Wednesday, investigators named Talfi Reeves as a new suspect. Five News' Kayla Davis was at that conference and shares more. After statements, sources, witnesses, pounding, the ground and driving people absolutely insane for 30 years, we finally have the answers that we, we needed. On Halloween night in 1990, Detective Lori Howard says Shauna Garber was picked up by Toffee Reeves from the Tanglewood Ginger Blue area off of Missouri State Highway 59. He then hogtied her wrists and feet and took her to an abandoned farmhouse. He raped her, he bound her, and he overdosed her to shut her up because she was screaming so loudly that it began to scare him in that valley because it echoed. 
Two months later, her body parts were found. Detectives Howard and Wise say Reeves had multiple charges dating back to the 80s, including first degree assault and drug trafficking, among other reasons. They were able to confirm Reeves was the killer through six corroborated sources and a witness that came forward. I can tell you Talfi Reeves was a suspect in this case for years. I just couldn't get anybody to talk to me on the record as an affidavit. I couldn't corroborate their stories until years later, and I had nobody who had the missing piece until he died. And that's how we are here today. For decades, Garber's identity was unknown due to a lack of DNA evidence. That changed in 2021 when they finally received familial DNA evidence and found her sister, Danielle Pixler. This lady had a hard luck life. Um, she was set on fire when she was three years old by her mom. And after that, she wound up in a foster care situation and it was a failed adoption. Pixler spent 30 years searching for Shauna. Despite never knowing her, she says she found closure in learning Reeves was her killer. I'm happy. I, you know, for honestly, I didn't know for sure if they were going to find anybody. You know, I was like, man, I'm going to be in heaven before anything, you know, but they never stopped. None of them stopped. That was Kayla Davis reporting. Catch up with us again on your five news this evening for more news and weather where you live. I'm Morgan Wrigley. Have a great day.